I wanna start this video by saying that if you're considering a vegetarian diet for your dog and you haven't consulted with your veterinarian or a trained canine nutritionist yet, make sure that you do that. A vegetarian diet is not right for every dog. There are some dogs that need to be on a vegetarian diet, but it's very important that you consult an expert when feeding your pet a vegetarian diet to ensure that they're getting balanced nutrition. There are ways to give your pet protein without including meat in their diet, but you need to make sure that they're getting enough protein and that they're getting the right balance of vitamins and minerals from all of the vegetables that they're eating. So this recipe um, is one that I would suggest to get you started. Um, you can certainly do some research on the ingredients. Uh, you can click the link below this video. That will take you to my written guide where you can print the recipe, bring it in, share it with your veterinarian, call your canine nutritionist, or you know have a Zoom session with them, go over the recipe, and just ask them you know, if this is gonna provide 100% balanced nutrition for your dog. And they may recommend tweaking the ingredients a little bit, or they might also recommend just adding a multivitamin or a couple of supplements to make this nutritionally balanced for your pup. I make this vegetarian homemade dog food in my pressure cooker. Um, this is my eight in one pressure cooker from Kosori. Um, I have done a product review on that, so you can check that out. Um, but this is the one that I prefer. It has a lot of different settings, so I can use it as a pressure cooker or a slow cooker. For this recipe, I like a pressure cooker just because it's quicker and the vegetables really get nice and tender that way. So I have about an inch of water in my pressure cooker and I have cut my vegetables into chunks already. So the first thing I'm gonna add is six large carrots. And this is all gonna turn nice and mushy, so you don't have to cut them in like pieces that are appropriately sized for your dog. They're all gonna turn mushy, and this is gonna be the consistency of like a canned dog food by the time that we're finished. So you don't have to worry about cutting everything super small. Uh, so I have my six large carrots. I have uh, three sweet potatoes. And then I have two large zucchinis here. Um, you know, you could do three if they're kind of smaller. And this is all gonna condense too. Once we start cooking it, um, it's, it's all gonna fit in here a little bit better. So then I'm just gonna put my lid on. I'm gonna cook this on high pressure for 20 minutes. Now that it's been in the pressure cooker for 20 minutes, you can see that everything's nice and squishy, very easy to mash up. So I'm gonna add my last two ingredients and that is one can of peas that I've strained and two tablespoons of peanut butter. And I'm just gonna plop the peanut butter on top. The heat from all of the vegetables is gonna allow it to melt really easily and mix in nicely. And there's a lot of water in here, you can see from the zucchini. We started with that one inch in the bottom, but um, all the water out of the zucchini makes it really moist. So I'm just gonna mash this all up until it's about the consistency of canned dog food. Um, there is serving size information. If you want to know how much protein, um, you know, how much fat is in this recipe, just click the link below the video. I have all that broken down for you. The serving size guidelines are there as well. Um, I recommend feeding about half a cup per 20 pounds of body weight per meal. And that is for two meals per day. So um, a 20 pound dog would eat half a cup in the morning and half a cup at night. Again, all that information, if you click the link below the video, you can get the uh, nutritional information, serving size guidelines, storing information. And you can also easily print the recipe so you can take it in and consult with your veterinarian or a canine nutritionist. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to email me. Thanks for watching this video recipe.